When this adorable orphan aardvark found a new home at the animal sanctuary, she became fast friends with the local residents. And curiously, she started to act just like them too. Now she has her own little family and it's just the sweetest thing. In November 2016, media sources reported that a baby aardvark had been found in Nambia, Africa. And the lonesome little thing had every reason for the long face. In fact, it's thought that she was separated from her mommy after getting trapped while crossing a farm. It's also assumed that the young animal and her mother were trying to get over a pipeline on the farm. Sadly though, it seems only the adult made it across, and the adult either carried on without her child or didn't even realize that the baby was stuck. Thankfully, a kind-hearted woman discovered the trapped baby aardvark. When the rescuer looked for an adult aardvark, she found no sign of one. The cub had likely been alone for days, and she was in a bad state. She was dehydrated and weak, and her feet were full of sores. The rescuer made a call to the Zuri Orphanage, an animal shelter that veterinarian Erica Dieger runs locally from her home. Therefore, Dieger had experience treating and rehabilitating many different animal species. Fortunately, too, she had even taken care of an aardvark already and was excited for the chance to do so again. I was so happy, Dieger told the dodo. Aardvarks are extremely rare to see in real life, and many people have never seen one. I said, when can you drop her off? And she said, right away. So Dieger welcomed the aardvark club to her animal orphanage, and as far as she could tell, the baby was between four and six weeks old and in dire need of some TLC. So to start, the veterinarian affectionately named her new charge Gertie, after the little girl in Steven Spielberg's E.T. One of the reasons aardvarks are so rarely seen is because they're nocturnal and sleep a great deal, especially as babies. Gertie was no different. Although at the orphanage, Gertie had more comfort than most aardvarks ever receive. In fact, staff made her feel like a queen with the help of dog beds piled with blankets. Though without her mommy, Gertie had suffered from a lack of food. After all, young aardvark cubs rely on their mother's milk to keep them strong. So Dieger had to come up with an alternative. The veterinarian bottle-fed baby Gertie using milk, usually given to kittens as a substitute. It took me three days to get her to drink. I bought every single baby bottle and teat under the sun. Thankfully, Dieger's persistence paid off. Gertie initially slept throughout both the day and night, but she grew stronger with her feedings, and against her nature, Gertie even started to get more active during daytime hours. Thankfully, this worked well with Dieger's veterinary schedule. In fact, the vet took her to the veterinary clinic during the day because Gertie needed constant monitoring. Fortunately, the little cub was no trouble. Aardvarks are very clean animals, the Jaeger said, explaining that they even tidy up after themselves. They dig a hole in the sand when they need to urinate or defecate, and cover it up when they're finished. She makes the sound like a baby goat. With time, the little aardvark also started to get more playful. Last night at 12 a.m., she decided it was playtime, Dieger recalled. As I was trying to sleep, she stood up with her little feet on the bed. All I saw were these big ears. Gertie's playfulness even made her some new friends. During Dieger's veterinary visits to a nearby farm, Gertie was introduced to Crummel and Zeddy, the neighbor's Jack Russells. Curiously, both dogs came to accept Gertie as one of the pack. In fact, her connection with Crummel was instant. Crummel fell in love at first sight, Dieger said. She didn't leave Gertie alone for one minute. She followed her everywhere. Sometimes dogs have a strong motherly instinct and will look after babies. I suspect Crummel is like this. Zeddy was a bit scared of Gertie, but once she realized that Gertie was a great new friend, she was the happiest little puppy. Zeddy will run and fall in front of her like puppies do, Dieger said. Gertie also gets along well with the vet's own dogs. Dieger has two dogs called Spokey and Zara. Gertie will follow Zara and just walk with all the dogs, she said. They will often lick her and she will follow them. Dieger still plans to release Gertie into the wild when she's old enough to look after herself. She's not even eating yet, Dieger explained, but even my staff are sad because she's growing so fast. Gertie won't likely disappear from her life completely when she's released. After all, the vet still gets visits by E.T the first aardvark that she rescued. For now, Dieger is treasuring every moment she can get with Gertie and just considers herself fortunate to have met her. I love to watch her, she said. She's so beautiful. Aardvarks are so rare, and I feel like a million dollars being so lucky to raise her.